Hello, how's it going? I know it's been a while since I released my last video. I've been a little busy with work, but also experimenting with my own side projects. Sometimes I'm doing tutorials, sometimes I have my own projects. The project I'm working on involves some Paper Mario style animation, I would say. Skeletal animation, but doing it a little bit by hand. Anyway, long story short, I quickly got sick of doing it by hand, but I thought it would be fun to make a tool. So I'm making a skeletal animation tool for two dimensional, very, very basic animations. Here's the program. I'm going to call it Paper Pusher. Now we can load files so I can grab, for instance, an, an uh, not an animation, this is still being put together. I can grab something I've made before and if I click on this hierarchy, you can see some various bones. I can show those bones on the screen. This will be a little messy. So what I'll do is just restart this, go with a fresh one. So I'll just switch this over to bones mode and I'll click new, I'm gonna make some new bones and I can just click, click, click wherever I want, make a bunch of bones. And then there's a few things I can do. On the side here, I have this hierarchy. Oh, oh, by the way, of course, I can zoom in or zoom out. This is designed for making simple animations and so it's not gonna be movable. This will just be centered around a spot. This is basically for my own usage. I don't care if it's a little simple. I have this hierarchy here. I can click on this hierarchy to, where are we? Select a bone and we can change some properties. So I can say, I'm gonna call this the body if I like, and that updates there. I can go ahead and modify the position and that updates. If I want to change that a little more quickly, I can click over to edit mode. And currently I have the body bone selected. Wherever I click on the screen, it will change position to there. If I want to deselect that bone, I can click select mode, click nowhere, and it deselects. So again, um, by default, node zero is the, the parent and everything belongs to node zero. So we see down here, we have these children, um, bones one and two. If I click on this uh, bone, it'll expand it in the hierarchy. But if I want to, I don't know, let's just rename this. Uh, let's say upper arm and then bone two will be lower arm. So if I want to set it up so the lower arm is a child of the upper arm, I just go ahead and insert it there. And we can now see in the hierarchy that this is set up correctly. We can see the body has been altered. So its child is just bone one and bone one, its child is bone two. And we can't do any crazy things. Like I can't go down to lower arm and say, your child is node zero. It gets rejected. There are background checks and things. I can't say, hey, your child is node one. It gets rejected. I can't say, hey, your child is node five because that node doesn't exist. So it's just some basic rudimentary checks. Um, what else can I do? So. I was mentioning that I can select a node to um, and, and click on it to expand it or collapse it. But another cool thing is that, okay, so let me just collapse the body. And now I've selected the upper arm. And if I click again, that would expand it. But the parent is collapsed. So I have this cool thing where if I go to expand a node, but the parent is collapsed, then the parent automatically gets expanded and this goes recursively. So if I go close up zero, select two, open two, it opens everything above it, but it doesn't go any further. So for instance, I'll just make a new node. I'll call this and there we go. So I will, whoops, wrong mode. Let me just move these out of the way. Don't worry about those. 
Okay, so let's try this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to expand bone one. The parent will be expanded, but that expansion won't go any further. So close that down, open up node one, but that expansion has not extended beyond the lower arm. There we have it. So that's sort of um, just some stuff I've been playing around with. It seems a little basic at the moment, but I'm having a blast. It's, it's good to do these little puzzles, you know, stay sharp. But anyway, that's it for me. I will see you again at a future point. All right, bye. Thank you.